<laughs> okay. This is great new metal. Hey. What? Ding. Stop. I can see this going over well after the Bring Me the Horizon video. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Old Ed Mike here, bringing you an album uh, reaction and review uh, for the new Amir album. It is called Hindsight. Um, Amir is one of my favorite bands of all time. Um, if you saw my reaction videos, uh, I've got the Amir glove from the Respect issue. Yeah, I've been in love with this band since 2007. Um, I kind of started to drop off after uh, I think it was Slave to the Game uh, just for a little while. I don't know. Maybe it was just a rough time in my life. I, I didn't listen to them. I didn't go to a lot of shows. Um, but I got back into them again, and uh, they're still one of my favorite bands. Um, Look at Yourself was good. Uh, I enjoyed it. Love Joshua Travis. A um, few of the songs are fucking amazing. Uh uh, Shinjuku, Master Lord, Jesus Christ, that song live is obnoxious. Um, but overall, it was it was it was okay. I mean, it didn't do anything uh, spectacular, but it, it it brought them back into the light because uh, I know they were dying off after Eternal Eternal Enemies. Uh, they got a lot of heat from that. This album is so much better. God, I really enjoyed this, dude. Like, I thought. I knew it was going to be a lot of new metal. Um, I thought it would be corny. Um, and some parts of it might be for some people. But me being um, a new metal kid before I was metalcore, you know, back in high school, I was in high school from 2000 to 2004. So that was like prime, prime time uh, Static X and uh, Lip Biscuit, all that kind of shit. That was like what was in my little fucking Walkman CD player. Um, those four years, and this is really like a throwback to that, but but heavier, you know? Like, I feel like this is the sound that Frankie's been trying to find for years. Like, I don't care about anyone. I don't care about anyone. Jonathan Davis? Best thing you could ever do. I remember back on MySpace, uh, Frankie was had an interview and said that uh, Limp Biscuit was one of his biggest influences, and there's like uh, what one song on here that uh, really shows Limp Biscuit. All right, this is this is straight Fred Durst right here. There's a few songs that sound like Corn, but he he does it on his in his own way um, with his vocals. Oh, that's straight Jonathan Davis. And he pulls it off, and not only that, but his vocals are such, so much even better than, than before on a couple of these tracks, too. Ugh. Look, a little, little blackened right there. Ugh. Jesus, never heard him sound like that. It really, it really took me, took me away. Like I, I was flowing with it the whole time. The album flows really well. Uh, Joshua Travis still a little underutilized, but I don't think, I don't think of him as being. Um, I, I guess I wouldn't say he's underutilized because he. Uh, I mean, he wrote a lot of the music, you know? This is what he's putting out. So, really, when you're saying that he's not shown here, you know, that's that's a dig on him. You know, he, he this is what he wants to write. Let him fucking write it. He wants to do some new metal. You know, he can't have the same Tony Danza fucking uh, riffs the, for his entire life, 
you know? You know, y'all, y'all, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Y'all gave me so much shit in my fucking Bring Me the Horizon video, which I liked the song. I even said that. Um, but bands evolve, you know? So if, 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 if Bring Me the Horizon can change their sound, why can't, uh, why can't Joshua Travis, you know? If, even if you want to call it a devolution um, from him writing a whole bunch of technical stuff to now being like more muddy new metal, you know? Who cares? That's what he wants to evolve to. That's what he wants to write right now. At least just with this project, you know, I'm sure um, he's got plenty of other projects that he's working on. I mean, have you seen his uh, solo stuff? Uh, he, he puts out solo stuff all the time, which is awesome. Um, you know, just think of this as one of his different projects, and this is what, this is his new metal project, you know? Um, but yeah, for an Amir album, it's great. Um, would have liked to see some some throwbacks to like the uh, melodic melodic hardcore almost type songs that they had you know uh mdma uh sleeping princess in a devil's castle uh those softer type of songs i i really miss those i love that amir um but i mean I, it wouldn't really float i guess with the the album um but the, like i said new metal straight all the way through uh, new metal core. Uh, there's some sick breakdowns. Yeah. Simple, just. Ugh. But there's not like it's not a breakdown core anymore either like there's not it's not straight zero 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 meme mirror meme mirror meme mirror yeah so yeah i really really liked this you should definitely check it out even if you didn't like a mirror before and like i said i i i didn't care for the singles that much like pig's ear uh all right so this song works better in context of the whole album Gypsy Disco was okay. Pig's Ear didn't really didn't really catch me. I've seen Gata, I enjoyed that one. But hearing all of them flow through the album, it just really works really well. Um, so Okay, already I'll say this song's still heavy. Okay, the lyrics here are pretty I don't know. Um they're not deep, but they work really well for the music. Um like trash folder. Um, let me, let me see this, um. <laughs> That's kind of hard. Damn, his vocals are really fucking tuned on here. Um. I mean, it's, it's funny, and it's, shit like that happens all the time. It's, I, I would, I give it to them. Um, I'd say the only downside to this album is that there's only two songs that are over three minutes. Every song in here is like two minutes or, um, under two minutes. It, it, this album just goes by fucking quick. I mean, that's personal preference, I guess. Uh, I would, I just... I want more from it you know it was good and i would like to hear more it flows well it sounds good um yeah i loved it i'm gonna give this a uh, nine out of ten definitely check it out um give give frankie a second chance or, or third or fourth you know depending on how many times you've tried to listen to them uh this one's totally different it's not like the mirror that you thought you knew um they're really throwing it back uh, to some different some, to some different stuff but uh all right, thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for watching. Give me a like and subscribe. Um, uh, tomorrow I'm going to have a giveaway posted for uh, reaching my 200 uh, subs. Uh, thanks in part to my very famous Bring Me the Horizon video. So, uh, yeah, give me a like and subscribe um, and stick around. I'll po be posting some more shit. So, Old Head Mike signing off, reminding you, you're never too old for this. Okay. I hear that bass.